Okay, welcome back to Spec Ops The Line. The game I've been promising gets interesting at about this part. Just keep saying it over and over. I feel like I'm overselling things a bit. I don't know. Hopefully you agree with me that things get cool soon because it's just been very generic war shooter stuff up to this point. More or less, I mean. You can walk, but it's gonna hurt. You want morphine? Nah. I'll keep my head clear. Did we see this last time? Almost I actually done. forget if we've watched this. You think it, Walker? That scene. Landed in the middle of a fucking war zone. It's impressive, seeing as the city was supposed to be uninhabited. Exactly. Maybe it's time we got out of here. Called in the evac team. We got eight miles of open desert between us and the storm Oh yeah, I remember this line now. We did see this last time. You sure you want to cast our lot with the CIA? We have no choice. You've seen what's become of the 33rd. The captain's right. Walker saying over and over, we have to do this. It must be that. We gotta do this. We can't do that. It's like, uh... He is the Call of Duty game designer that says press F to breach, press F to pay respects. He is that guy, except he's a character in the story. Maybe, well, I say it may, may be a metaphor for... Yeah. Yeah, I remember we cut this like right here. I was afraid we lost you back there. Well, we took a pretty good beating, but we'll Lots of water. We need all the help we can fish. What's going on here, Agent? Insanity, Captain. CIA sent us in looking for survivors. Instead, we found Dubai tearing itself apart. Any sign of Conrad and all this? No, none that I've seen. I heard rumors that he's still alive. But if that's true, he's in hiding somewhere. <laughs> Damn it! Here the the Marcus Fe Look Phoenix out. fingers in your moment. Lugo, get him back on the radio. I can't. Signal's dead. Heads up! Fight time. Not looking too good for Gould. You got a problem with him, Adams? Look, the 33rd Where the heck? But isn't Gould's revolution just stirring this shit? Hey, he saved our ass back there. And right now, he's all we got. Didn't notice this guy fell in. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Hey, this is me. like a... I think I found a way out of here. Before I do that. Use up the ammo to this. Let's go. Form up on me. This is let's like... Move. Single, single shot, not rapid fire. It also has a scope, but I don't think I will use it that often. Oh, this was cutscene stuff. I say I probably won't use it, but then I'll probably use it right here. Right, check out this cool war stuff explosions. Aren't they cool? Gold, can't see anything through the smoke. Now let's get down there. He might be hurt. Oh, the radio man is uh, what's his name? Busey. Uh, he, he's Gary Busey's son. I can't remember his name again. I just looked it up and it flew out of my head. Maybe I'll put an annotation, like an annotation on the screen of his actual name because he deserves to be recognized for his work here. Could have taken those AKs, but this guy looks like Max Payne to me. I don't know. Freedom grows from bloodied sand. There's some good lines here. What the hell? These are nice to use. That means he's 33rd. You think the CIA did this? Can't be. Guy's 
has been rotten too long. Oh my god. Who the hell would do this? It's not something I want to think about right now. Heads up. Soldiers. 12 o'clock. They spot us? Not yet. Well, I was kind of hoping you would uh, get silent, ain't that okay? One down. Don't these guys have somebody else to fight? Heads up! Tango, trying to move! Reloading! Cover me! Heads up! Shotgun are coming our way! It's staying out! In room! More coming over the barrier! I guess I'll get out of cover then. Get a little closer. This time I'm going to listen to their whole dialogue instead of ordering guys to fight, to shoot rather. Hmm. So, this mission should be where things get very interesting. I hope. Colonel Campbell. Guess everyone's looted these days. Shit. Why would you just say that? Open fire! And stay down! Whoa! I did a backflip. A mess. I have so much ammo for the 417, I can't not use it. Especially this is pretty good range. Headshot. Where are you shooting? Ooh. Just took a shot. Can I have an oof counter in the corner? It's probably a bad move. I guess I moved him. Got you. Oh no. firing that semi-auto rifle. Not the greatest option I had. We gotta take out that gunner. I'm doing my best. I'm not even sure where he is. Oh. Get down, get down! Get down. Get down. Above you. Above that side. Down. Got that guy, interestingly right enough. Doing voice lines, I can't see where they are. Really? Nothing? Up. Tango, try to move. 
about... Can I... Oh, I can't. I wanted to use that turret. Can I get out here? There we go. Ooh. Oh no, I don't have any grenades. Yeah, I want to pop back up. That's actually why I really dislike this type of game, because you do a lot of that, just aim at a spot because you know they're gonna pop back, pop back up there again. So you remember me now. I do indeed. And I'm not the only one. Something Busey. Ah, oh, I need to remember his name. He's such a good actor. I mean, like, not the greatest actor of all time, but he's a really good voice for this. Kind of sardonic, you know. I can't even get those rifles, damn it. I want bullets. Give me bullets for this upcoming part. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Okay. We'll do this. I have lots of ammo for this. Hey, friend Rob. He didn't know this was going to happen. Maybe the loss was worth the gain. Maybe the loss was worth the game. Sacrificing hundreds of civilians. For your own... Reasons. Yeah, okay. Hold up. You smell that? You're kidding, right? We're ankle deep in death. Of course I smell it. No. Not that. Hey. War crimes. Atrocities. So, these horribly burning people will try to grab you as you go by. And if they do, then you catch on fire too. Where? Oh boy, these guys have like bomb suits on. Uh, they kind of remind me of the dozers from uh, uh, Payday 2. Red jelly, please. So yeah, you knock off their face visor and then and shoot them. It's a message to the survivors. Don't fuck with us. Saw. Yeah, why not? So, in very many games, you will see they will show like a bunch of corpses or like a public execution or something to make you realize that the bad guys are really bad. And this is kind of our moment here, sort of. You claim to speak for these people, Agent Gould. Now would be the time to prove it. No! I have done nothing! You want to say that's another recording? Probably should have taken the scout. Because this part's going to take a lot of sniping. See, I think your little assault was meant as a distraction. So I have a very particular way I plan on doing this. This is the first, or actually the second choice you have to affect the plot and gameplay. Next. Basically. You can shoot him while they're trying to execute civilians. And that leads you to a big combat sequence. It's very hard. Or you can let them do it and uh, do it more stealthily. I'm taking the shot. Wait for your orders, Sergeant. Yeah. 
Take care of the rest of them. Yes, sir. Still have nothing to say, Agent? Maybe if you understood the hell you put these people through. Set them up. Walker, over here. We've got to save these civilians. Now's our chance, Walker. We got an open path straight to Ghoul. What about the civilians? We got to save them. Look, I know it sucks, but Ghoul's vital to our mission. The civvies aren't. Our mission is to rescue people. Please, Captain. We need Ghoul. Let me take the shot. We can't let these people die, Walker. You know it's the right call. Begin. We gotta save Gould. Threat eliminated! Come there we go. Target is down. Shit! We got company! Adam, you with me. Luca, protect Gould. You got it! Oh, I got him. Gotcha. Kind of didn't expect that I would. Heavy got me. Well, we get to make this choice again so I can actually show you both, I believe. Sandboarding. I don't think this is a real thing, but uh, it is in this game. Yep, yeah, okay. So this time I will try to save the civilians. Now's our chance, Walker. We got an open path straight to Ghoul. What about the civilians? Ghoul can wait. Stay behind me. Hold up. We gotta wait till they're gone. Can't actually crouch. Okay. So, no. Okay. We'll talk. This... The Aquatic Coliseum. Riggs is planning an attack. When? How? I don't know. Not good enough. No, wait. I don't know. What the fuck is he doing? Exactly what I said he would. Choke him with sand. Let him rot. Come on. So dying there was not intentional, but we get to see the alternate version of this sequence. Probably do this also. Yeah, you gonna do it? Good. No, don't. Grab his gun, Walker. There. It's got a silencer. It's got another soldier. Be cool and follow my lead. I'm following. You open fire at any point. It starts combat. I got your back. Nicely done. Follow me. Doing the walkie now. When you're doing this walkie mode, you know you're safe. There's Colonel Campbell again. You can hold. I trust you. You even have straws? No. You're just an idea. Oh, not a very good one. Seeing as how we don't have so much as a twig. I don't see you coming up with one. Here, we'll flip my service medallion. Heads, you're clear. Tails, it's your ass. <laughs> Sounds fair. Who's it gonna be? Oh, he still said the line even though he's been shot in the head. Don't worry. Everything's okay now. I could have let that play out a little bit longer to get all the lines, but oh well. Thank you. Go on! Get out of here! Now that we wasted all this time, we should check on Gould. Just calm down, Lugo. We will. 
All the soldiers are either dead or gone. We should be in the clear. So, yeah, this way. So I think this is probably the better option for your soul and for uh, gameplay. Because just another big combat zone is like, who cares? He's fucking dead. Now what are we gonna do? But it's worse for like the character's mental state. So now they're in trouble. What the hell is that? A map. I think this was Gould's op plan. Must be the gate they were talking about. So what? Gould thought it was worth dying for, though. I'd say that's a pretty big so what. Basically what you're doing here is you're taking sides with your two squad mates. And whichever one you start to listen to the plans of, right. the Let's more they like you, the other one dislikes you. There's no time, Lugo. Zone's still hot. Are you kidding me? This barely makes a difference, but it is something you can think about. Ultimately, it doesn't really matter, but uh, this, this is the, one of the few actual choices you get to make during the game, which I think is thematically super important where are you guys thematically super really important and interesting and i give you this nice long quiet moment after to like reflect on it that's nicely paced i've talked about you swapping to like middle eastern style of weapon weapons but i haven't really in this playthrough for whatever reason. I usually really like the AK in this game. What are you talking about? People died back there. Not just soldiers and civilians, but cool. Our best chance of getting out of this hellhole. Calm down, Lugo. There's nothing we could have done. Obviously, if you Don't side the other down. way. We got no idea what the fuck we're doing. Here. Adams would be more upset yeah, with you. You're right. Putting your faith in Ghoul, you are fucking clueless. Man, I'm through with this shit. Fuck you! At least I'm doing my job! You're the one who's fine, just sitting back, waiting for things to unfuck themselves. You think I like watching these people die? Huh? You think I won't carry this into my fucking grave? Stand down! Oh, both of you! Stand the fuck down! The fuck is wrong with you two? We're in the middle of a fucking war zone, and you're fighting in the dirt like a couple of goddamn kids! You are Delta operators. Fucking act like it! Yeah, also right. that. We good? Like yeah. These are supposed to be the best of the best, and they're Lugo. Yes, sir. Acting Good. this way. Now let's keep moving. Uh, I, I said this game was taking a lot of influence from things like movies like Heart of Darkness, and the whole metaphorical descent into madness, as well as the literal descent into. The madness that is war is in, is a big theme in that movie, and I think uh, this is like the first showings of it. And there we go. Oh, that's not the end of the chapter. Oh, it is the end of the chapter. So cool. I'll let this little bit of dialogue play out like usual. And then end this scene. Alright, cool. So, well, not cool, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and see you next time on Spec Office of the Line.